Hey yo, what's going on guys? So today is going to be a video. Go Dodgers. I feel like they're doing pretty good. Anywho, so today is going to be on what my uh, baseball essential slash what is in my baseball bag video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. So yeah, let's just get right into this. Alright guys, so let's start off with the bag. So, just regular bag, bag, excuse me. Um, it is an Easton bag. Um, yeah, pretty, it's an okay bag. Um, it can only fit two bats, just letting you guys know. So it's not the best choice, but for the price, and it actually lasts me for a long time. I've had this for a very long time, and I think my brother gave it to me. So yeah, it's been in the family for a little bit, and it's still, still holding up. All right. So let's go top to bottom now, cleats. Um, these are really nice cleats. These are the Hirachis. Um, yeah, somewhere it says right here in the logo. But yeah, these are really nice cleats. Um, I love the little designs, if you guys can see that in the camera. But um, yeah, um, one thing that sucks about these, and it does with every cleat, honestly. Um, yeah, these are spiked, um, not just plastic but um yeah it really hurts your feet when you're just trying to play like seven innings or so so yeah but like i said that's really any cleat unless you get the brand new um adidas i might put a picture in with like the um it's like the boost and stuff it's so comfortable i heard but they're really expensive expensive they're like 200 dollars. but anywho moving on now on the list um oh yeah Big, huge thing, if you're a baseball player, you need to have some seeds. Doesn't even matter what kind. I got these bigs. They are bacon, if you can see that. And these are freaking good, honestly. Um, but yeah, some flower seeds are the greatest. Um, let's show me, or I'll show you guys um, my batting helmets. So my batting helmets are right here. This is one. You can just see the cool design. It is a Rawlings. Yeah, see the cool design all around. It's a pretty nice um helmet. It's a little big on my head, not even gonna lie. But hey, just gotta keep it flashy. And then we got this one. It's just a regular good old big blue. Got the GoPro mount on the top. But uh, yeah, so those are my two batting helmets. Um, let's go next. Uh, all right, so big shout out to it's it's not really a sponsorship, but it's I Get like discount from them, but yeah, so right here frost gear Um, I will go in depth with these. I do love these these are probably the most grippiest And if you guys don't know what frost gear is they pretty much make gear for like winter training and when people want to play baseball who live in like PA and like when it gets really cold these are the puppies for you and honestly they do work and they aren't like last year's I heard they were just so like big and just they weren't good but this year they definitely improved the product but yeah make sure to check them out I will try to leave a link in the description on them but yeah they also have just like just so much stuff just to keep you warm during the winter and cold months of the game but yeah frost gear Alright guys, so next product will be the mitt. One of the biggest um, things is the mitt. So right here is my mitt. Um, this was on retail for $150 I think. Um, got it um, for $100. So that was a pretty good deal. Pretty nice mitt. Um, I know Mr. Knight does not like it. Not even going to lie to you. That's what he said to me. But yeah, pretty nice mitt. And uh, yeah, I'm falling in love with it. It is has the H, and yeah, I'll just let you guys get a good look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Golden Glove Company. Um, one downside from it, you always have to keep tying this. Now I'm sure if you tie it strong enough and enough, it will not come untied. But well, yeah. It still comes untied, so yeah, but yeah, it is really nice. It does have the little finger thing to put right there. 
But yeah, like again, pretty nice mitt. So the next thing will be sunglasses. Um, thanks to my sister Samantha, I just got brand new sunglasses. Um, but yeah, so let's start off with my old ones. I got these like a couple years ago. You guys probably saw the really cringy picture of me on my Instagram. Never even took that off. I don't even care. But yeah, they come in this nice um case. But yeah, here they are. Um, they are. I don't know if you can see that, but they are Under Armour. Here, let me. Still don't know if. You, kind of, but yeah, they are Under Armour. Um, but yeah. The, I don't know what happened on the inside, but uh, something just happened. But yeah, they are blue. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, they are blue. And pretty cool design on them. They do have a design. Let me see. Kind of. But, but yeah, so those are my first pair of sunglasses. First, like, really expensive pair. I, heck, I paid a, a little bit for these. But yeah, they were really nice for baseball and just overall stuff. But now, these were so cool. As you can see, they are Oakleys. So they come in this very nice packaging. They come, um, I did get these at, heck, I forget which store, but it was a really nice store. Um, I did not go, like I said, my sister, my sister got these for me. But they come with extra nose pieces. So yeah, so like I said, they do come in this case, and then they also come in this um, cleaning case. But yeah, so coming out, um, they are very nice sunglasses, if I can get them out. Yeah, but yeah, I just got plain black. I like the top, it has that little little bling. But uh, yeah, these are really, really nice sunglasses. They fit very nice. They're very clear when you use this case. And uh, yeah, again, these are green slash blue lenses. It's just you can't really see them. But yeah, these are definitely cool. I'm gonna I'm I'm just put these up on top here. Don't know if you can see them, but yeah, they are definitely a big plus when you can see perfectly when you are trying to play ball. All right, so now bats. Bats, I have two bats. I have an extra pair of, I, well, I have one more other bat. It's just my tennis ball bat. I can hit dingers with those with tennis balls, but I will, I will be honest, this this um, bat that I am about to show you, it was a very nice bat, honestly. I put the lizard skins, um, yeah, I, I love this bat, you might have saw this in an, another video, but yeah, this lasts me a couple of um, long months, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see the glitter, but yeah, I beat this thing up. But yeah, it still works pretty good. It is a drop 10, 31 inch and 21 ounces. So yeah, just in case if you guys were wondering about that. But yeah, pretty nice bat. It is a speed hybrid. But yeah, like I said, a 31, if you can see that. But all right, so now I just got this bat literally today. Well, I guess it would be yesterday because when this comes out, but it is still in the packaging. We will get um, Billy Jimmy. Billy Jimmy, that is his name. Yes, he is an actual person. Um, to unbox this um, beautiful bat. But I will show you it right now. Are you guys ready? This is the nicest bat I will ever have. You might have just saw it, but here it is. It is a Omaha Series Louisville Slugger. And man, oh days, I literally just got this today. See, I don't know if you can see it, but it is still in its wrapping. But yeah, it is such a nice bat. I, um, I did get this at Dick's for a hundred bucks, which pretty good price. You can see up there, which it was an okay price. Um, but yeah, it is a still a drop 10, um, 32 and 22 ounces. So it went a little bit up, but not too much. But yeah, when I was buying this, I was gonna get the ax, then I thought about it, they only go up to 31 inches, and I'd rather just get a really nice Louisville Slugger. Never had one of these before. But yeah, so yeah, decided to go something different. I like the grip. I was gonna get um, lizard skin grip, but it's actually a really nice grip because they don't packaging this. But um, yeah, so let's go get uh, Billy Jimmy to go unbox this with you very carefully because I know he's so good at unboxing. Well, thank you, Mr. Casey. 
All right, so today, guys, we are gonna freaking unbox this brand new freaking bat. All right, so uh, pretty much, hang on, let me get faith here. Happy Easter, by the way. Alright, so, so it looks like a pretty nice bat, not gonna lie. Alright, so look, oh my freaking teeth! Ah! Alright, so pretty much, um, so it looks like we just take off this wrapping. Ah, oh, that's pretty easy. Oh, shiny. Whoa, something fell. I don't own this manual. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright. Alright, so when you. Um, Alright, sorry about that, guys. Hang on, let me get another peep here. It'll play good. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, back to the unboxing. Alright. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, like I said, I have to get my tooth redone. Alright, so we back to this now. Uh, yeah, it looks like we just keep on going like this. And then, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ma, oh, yeah. Nah. Yeah, that's pretty much what you do. You bring it down? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and we're done. Alright, that's the unboxing. The very nice bag. We'll bring it back to you, case nine. For the fun of Ben Bobby. Alright, well, thank you, uh, Billy Jimmy. Um, so, from just looking at it with all it off, dude, it is so beauty. It's such a beauty, though. Like the little mat, and then with the glossy Louis Louisville Slugger logo, and then obviously USA official um, Omaha for college baseball World Series. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. Um, stay tuned for next video. We are gonna maybe go test this thing out. Um, maybe at batting cages somewhere. Maybe we'll go test this puppy out and use it. But, um, yeah, on top of that, guys, that is the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed all my stuff. But, yeah, that is all I have. Special thanks, again, to Frost Gear for uh, the sponsorship, if you call it that. But, um, yeah, like I said, stay tuned for me when I go try out this. And thank you to uh, Billy Jimmy to unboxing this. Hopefully, you did okay. I really don't freaking know. That kid's... Nah. Oh, shiny. But, uh, yeah, on top of that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.